Yay! Here we are on the old Legend of Grimrock 2. We've got all these choices. We're going to play the old custom dungeon Harofka. Hmm. It's amazing. And what's happened is the jolly old ship that you were travelling on last night crashed into those yummy rocks. And you thought, well, crikey O'Reilly. What's happening here? But there's four of you that survived it, and you said, well, what's what's going on? This is a strange old cove. This is known as a cove. And quite often you look out to your ship and think, well... Anyway, you think, these stairs! There's stairs going down to this weird... Oh my god, we've got a dungeon! We've got a dungeon! What the heck is... Now that lot are not to be taken lightly, I tell you. They're all gold. No, they're not to be taken lightly. But anyway, you go down to this dungeon and you think, well, what are these things here? These look like pressure plates. Oh, there's a door. Can I knock on it? Well, they're not answering. So we go back up and we think, oh. Right, oh, it's, a bit, it's a bit warmer up here. Cool. It was cold down there. Neck, shudder of blasty ice. Right, so you think I'm looking for clues now because there must be some items. And you see this crab, you see this other crab, and that crab has just gone straight through. And you think, well, there's a head there. I can see a stone head. That is mighty strange. And there's crabs, which are clues. These are henceforth known as clues. So if you line up... Oh blimey, did you see that? It came straight out of that secret area! It's a secret area where you've got items. You've got items, you see. And you've got a lever. And you've got a lock. And most important of all, you've got a torch. Right, so you just found the ingredients. Um, to do a bit more on the adventure. So now... You've got a bit more, so you can put this item down there, put that item down there, you get a message. This place contains the accursed... Oh, wait a minute. We've got a fantastic pair of trousers for the Minotaur. Yay! Oh, lovely. Loads and loads of... Oh, what is a spider? That is a clue. That is a clue. Think. Oh, it's a, it's a clue for here. Bombs at this stage of the game. We have got bombs. Wow. Okay. Um, more of this stuff. Free of. Oh, we come to the end. We come to the end of the dungeons. Oh yes. Sushusa. Sushusa. Um. Thank you, Spider. That was very useful. Oh, more. I missed that one the first time round. Um, but that is the sort of thing... Oh, there's another spider. Hmm. Yeah, there he is there, look. So these spiders are like little messengers saying, Hey! Watch it. Um, oh, more clothing. No good. No good. She's already got a shirt. Um, well, this is this is good. See, this is good going. This We're making progress here. We're picking up all this stuff. Believe it or not, you're going to end up eating all this. And you can see straight away, can't you? Look, when you look at that. You can see something. Hmm. Well, you can see a spider on the ground, which means it's another one of these secret caches. Oh, it's so easy, isn't it? It's so easy. Well, it's not, actually it's nice to have a bit of um, easy-going stuff at the start of the dungeon game. If it's all hard, 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 then, you know... It gives you a bit of a satisfaction to find that you're uh, winning at this stage of the game. But there's a lock. And there's a locked door. So at the moment we've got no keys. We have no keys. Uh, we've got some sandals. The old Jesus creepers. Lovely. The old Jesus. There's doors in all directions. Um, oh, 
was a nice tattered cloak and the last of the bread. Look at that, we've got eight pieces of bread and believe it or not, you're going to need every single one of those. Your crew will be eating that like Rive Eater. Um, keep an eye out for black arches. I think we've done them all, or most of them anyway. You will miss the odd one. Yeah, we've done that one already. Um, oh, we didn't do that one. Um, oh, he's got a fancy jacket. He's got a fancy jacket. Trust mine at all to find the fancy one. Hey, oh, he's got a hat to go with it. Got this place is crawling with spiders. Oh, we come to a dangerous bit now. This is a dangerous bit. Hmm. It is a bit dangerous. Um. So I would definitely say do a save because you can cock this up so easily now. Because this is where it starts getting. Your crew can go down here. And they can help themselves to stuff. Is fine. Why oh, is another flipping torch? Wow. They can help themselves to this stuff, but go back up. To take a nice breath of air. Otherwise, uh, because when they get down there, really, if they're going to go for it, then they can't stop for anything. There's a head down here. As soon as you get to the head, the gates go up. But the trouble is, if you don't watch it, they're in danger of drowning. So now, basically go back. Because if you lose somebody, that's a pain. That, that can ruin your week. That can ruin your week. So every time you decide you're going to... See, look, they don't get long. They don't get long. So basically, it's a race. And have some stuff ready as well. So for instance, have this ready... Because they they're not carrying anything else, are they? So get all this sorted in advance, and it's going to be really helpful to do that, I can guarantee it. So get all this stuff, actually do another save. Never do enough saves really, This is in this game there's unlimited saves. So we're now going to go for it, so once you start going for it, flipping, just don't stop for anything. Because it's a kind of a race. Once you decide you're going to start rolling in this moat. This is the castle moat, for goodness sake. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Don't stop for anything now. Otherwise you will lose people and you just can't afford to do that at this stage of a flipping game. Right, we're doing well. We're doing well. Okay, see what I mean? That's brilliant. That is brilliant. not bad is it? It's not bad. I don't know if we can... Blimey we got away with it. We got away with it. That's incredible. Oh I know what to do. We have to put some of this bread on here. Um, we put bread on here right? And then this... Basically this thing opens. That isn't what you're here for though. Um, because this... There's a secret door here. So this, yeah, unfortunately you've got to stand here and take it from these flipping arches. Not a lot you can do. Oh, here we go, look, here we go. Here we go, look, fantastic. This is real, real good stuff. Oh, look, see that is really worth, oh my god, hello. Right, now we're in the position where we've emptied this place out. Well, I'll tell you what you can do. As the door's closing, you can have a nice little kip vu And now we're in perfect working order to... Oh, you do put it on the floor. Oh, you put it on... Oh, you've got to put an item on the floor, I see. Okay, just one of these pieces of bread will be good. So now you can either go down the trap door, which will probably be a good idea, I don't know. You could have either, you could have either fought those uh, infantry on the other side. I mean, it's a real choice there. You could have done that. Blimey, that wasn't bad, was it? Uh, we are doing so well. Uh, yeah, the, e either of those choices would have been good. To come down here or to do a battle with the opposing forces. Can't really... Either, either one is not a bad thing to do. We 
I got a stick. Got a stick. Oh, and, and herbs. Got a stone. Got the old Orson Ville. Yeah, wonderful. Wonderful. What a place. What a place. We are cracking on. We are cracking on. Where this doesn't go down to water, does it? Where does this go down to, for God's sake? Welcome to the ancient Hrothgar tomb. So, we found a mess. We found a mess on the floor, and that is a clue. Alright, so he is now... Way we have ended up in a very strange. Oh, blimey, hello. So, this is the one to the castle. It's got three snake pillars, which means it's the hardest mission to go on. I would do that one. It's tempting because it's coming first, but it would do. It's the hardest. This thing here is the hardest mission. Another one's come on. So, this one's got one snake pillar. So, we could do that one. Um, Oh, they're all coming on now. The last one to come on is the easiest. This is the easiest one to do. The other thing you can do is you can go down a trapdoor. Um, so this is the easiest one. You have to time it. If you go at the wrong time, you cancel it. Which is not a good idea. <laughs> One. We're getting nowhere. Uh, right, now we've got a serious weapon at last. It's a waste of time fighting with a flipping stick, surely. So, um, we're back in the castle again. We're slowly doing all of the castle. You can see what we've done. We've done the moat. Um, we've done that area where we, got, we were getting hit by the opposing forces. We're now in this part of the castle. So we're slowly exploring the castle. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff going on, um, and there's choices to be made. doing really well and we've already got this light armor light armor already brilliant absolutely superb so they've now both got axes which is brilliant so she can have this as the backup one um, nobody's qualified on light armor yet but this is brilliant light armor to have really good stuff um, so, blimey, look at this! Wow! Very, very good progress, isn't it? Um. <laughs> Just standing his ground, usually these archers move about a bit. There they go, look, there he goes. Oh no, oh no. So. Oh, it's nice 
There's a nice old glove down there. That's a brilliant glove to get. So this is the castle moat. Another section of it. That was good. That was good. Arrows. We haven't got a bow yet. But it's nice to have the arrows. And there's sparkling arrows as well. Or frozen ones. So this is a really good glove. Especially for Shadow. Shadow can have that. Look. Strength plus two. Really helpful. Um, so. Basically they are getting a bit hungry. He's getting hungry. The only food we've got. Oh no. We've got some decent food. Look. He can have that. Did we get always oh, she's got she can have oh we have got some decent food. Brilliant. Okay. Um got some more decent food there. Is he hungry? He's fine now. Okay, I thought we just had the rotten stuff. Hmm. <coughs> so we face going back into the moat again. So at this stage we could fight. We could go back and find out where those infantry were that we didn't fight before. Actually we can see on the map. They're not far away are they? Look. We could go up there and fight them. Or we could just move on. Um, hmm. I suppose we could try fighting them. We just saved it. So they're up this is this is where we didn't go before. Quite hard go it's quite hard going. It's quite hard going. Um, I don't know whether we can go into that room. Can you make it? Oh yeah, you can go into that room and you can... Um, you can have a rest. You can rest the troops, which is great to have this room. If you know about it. But it is like a bit of a secret. So, it's pretty hard to fight that lot on the other side because, you know, they just started the game. So they're not very good at fighting. So we could go back. You could keep on going back to your cubby hole all the time. Which is a fair point. If you don't close the door, those archers... Actually, I suppose they take the archers on first. So she now is going to go up on armour. Because she can wear that fantastic flipping armour now. That's going to be great. Um, if we distribute the armour to her, blimey. At this stage in the game, it's absolutely brilliant. So she can wear all this fantastic stuff. So, um, I don't really want to give her these armor gloves, but she's all right with them. I suppose the, this, this rattling guy could wear this thing and get a bit of extra strength that way. So she is now armored up to the flipping teeth. Look, she is armored up all the way up. He can go up as well. What's he going to go up on? clothing that she was wearing. She was wearing certain clothing. Um, what happened to it? Oh, well, it? 
obviously didn't have much. She obviously didn't have that much. Okay. Right. Now we're going to finish these people off. Oh, there's only one of them left. There's only one of them left. Ah, oh, it did seem like Mission Impossible to begin with. Blimey, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Okay, so Minotaur. What is he going to go up on? I think Heavy Weapons... He's got to go up on Alchemy. I mean, we've sorted them out. We've sorted them out. So, uh, I think there's a couple of things you can actually get uh, down the end here. They don't know if they're worth having. Got that. What? Oh, it's a dagger. Okay. Oh, that's definitely worth having. That is right. That's definitely worth checking out. Okay. Um, keep these torches. Um, because you come to a room in the end. Where you do need four torches, so um, ah! right, a bit more foraging to do. Actually, there's not a huge Im oh. Taught him, didn't it? That flipping taught him. Oh, we've got some real food. Cool, that looks good. Uh, there you go. So... Oh, there is quite a bit of foraging in here. Oh, there's a knife. There's a knife there. I suppose he can have it on his on his number two position. Because it's always nice to have a number two position in case you drop something or you put something down and, you, and then you need it. You need to. Oh, it's three there. Um, right, saving it again, I think. Give it a good old save. Oh. oh! We've got the old um, teleporter situation. We've been on one. We went on one, which was fairly easy. So we've done one of them. There's the mess. Right. Look at this. This fantastic armor, brilliant. Um, so this is the one we went on before. That's not coming up now. Look, it's gone out. So there is a way to restore. So this is this is one. Oh, um, I've got a feeling that this is the uh, ethereals. This one. Yeah, it is. It's the ethereals. So basically, you, your team are not really equipped to fight the ethereal, so it's all a case of dodging them. You're going to be dodging the ethereals. Uh, the first thing to do in this situation is to look for the ladder. It's a really great ladder here. Always go for this ladder. Brilliant ladder. Um, see the situation here, there's enemies waiting for you up on the top ledge. So, uh, here's the first one. He's quite an easy one actually. I 
always go for this one first. Those f rules make one hell of a bloody noise. But that's because they're not real. They're actually not real. They're just made of nothing. They're trying to haunt you. Okay. So always go back to where he was. There. Yeah, it was. So, get you loads of light armor. Oh, there's a nice shield. That's actually a pretty good shield. So, she's got a lovely number two position to go on to now. And what do we do? Oh, what's this? That's interesting, isn't it? jumping down into these areas. I suppose you could. Um, because we haven't finished up here yet. I mean, there's nothing to stop you seeing things, how, how things pan out. Might work. Now that's where he came from. Uh, there's a couple more to do. sentimental bone club but what do we do now uh, we've got to explore where the enemy came from so where did that spider come from uh, to find out what bonus items are that took a little while didn't it ah uh, it's a whole suit for the sorcerer look entire suit for the sorcerer brilliant oh yes very fetching very fetching indeed. Ah, uh, you need you need some of that fake food, I think. Or oh, can you have a mushroom? Yeah, that works. Um, so hopefully we can take out these mosquitoes. No, it didn't work. Quite awful. Oh, goodness for that. I think we're all right now. Yeah, he's all right now. So what do we do? Um, oh, of course. Um, Minotaur, it's your turn. We have some fantastic kits. Oh, this is really good kit, this is. Uh, gloves. I mean, look at this, look. It's got five of those now. Wow. Um, there's a fancy jacket there. Go on, Ratmaster can have that. So everybody's got the most fantastic stuff. Where does this lead to? Um, oh, I know. Got that bonus. There's a bonus thing, isn't there? Um, is it here? Oh, yeah. There's a bonus thing here. Um, 
and it's quite difficult but there's, there's some really nice items in there if you can get them but they're guarded by a couple of these things look so I don't know whether you can actually do it there's a sling there as well um, so she's not actually qualified to do that uh, but they're both hot on our heels these Everons can't actually fight them Good. That's good. Right, we're out. We're out of here. Where do we go? Because um, we're going to get a couple of keys. We're going in here to get a couple of ornate keys. So actually, the exit opens, but the trouble is we want two. We're greedy. So it closes. So that closes, and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, so you've got to find another way out, or just go with one all eight key, which is pretty useless. And um, they're all they're coming for us. Look, you can outmaneuver them. They're easy to flip. In. They are easy to flip and get round. Oh look, easy peasy. Right, okay. So we want the ladder to get out of here. Um, so it's just a case of exploring and now all we want to do is leave because we've got everything we want. We've got the bonus items. She's actually got a sword. I don't think she's qualified to use it, is she? Light Weapons 1. Oh, maybe she is. Wait a minute, she is Light Weapons 1. Yes, she can use it. Yeah, Light Weapons 1. She can use it, look. Ooh, very nice too. Right, she can have that as a backup weapon. Um, he can have that if he ever needs it to go on the front row. He's got this. Has he got any stones? Oh look, we did so well. We did so well, that's brilliant. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. So that was mission two um, from that place. Brilliant. All we've got to do now is leave. There is nothing else here for us at this time. Go down here. This is the exit stroller. And we're out. We're out! Brilliant! We are out! So, as usual, we're looking for a mess. Which is here. More of this stuff. She can't carry it. Um, so, we've absolutely got loads and loads of light armour, which makes it really... So, we've got a couple of these teleporters left, which are the hardest ones. And they, these two really are hard. So you can't do these two um, from the kickoff. They've got, they've got more snake pillars. So there's two snake pillars there and three snake pillars here. So these missions are hard. Um, well, they're hard for the party that have just started the game. Um, they wouldn't be hard for any other party that was well seasoned. There'd be nothing for our party so now you've got a choice you can actually go that down that trap door now if you want to that's a kind of um, a spin-off one it's surprising actually that's quite hard this one down here I don't know whether to do it or not really I'll save it and then you can't go wrong can you but uh, it can be surprisingly difficult it's just it's just those mummies that we saw when we went down to the dungeon to begin with, do you remember? We saw a whole load of those mummies. It's quite surprising. Okay, we'll give it a go. Give it a go. It's just down here. Here they are, look. Oh, she's got that fantastic new sword, hasn't she? She can try it out. We're doing pretty well. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Oh yeah, especially with that sword. Fabuloso. Oh, I'll tell you what, I wonder if we can go down here and have a sneaky little kip a -vu. Yeah, it worked a treat. Worked a treat. He seems to be injured and he can't get any respite. The old rat master. He's going to have one of those red ones, I think. Um, 
Yeah, he's gonna have to have that. Otherwise he can't. So, we don't have to worry about these last tail. Oh, there's a few of them, isn't there? There's a few of them. You don't have to worry about them for the time being. You can take the torch. But part of taking the torch means that this thing opens. And now you've got bombs galore. Ratmaster. See, this, this is where this food comes in. Because you end up need, needing to eat that rotten food, which is something that you wouldn't really want to do. Um, blimey, look at this. Look at this. So this really, really was worth coming down here first. Now, rage potion, speed potion. Rage potion and speed potion would be absolutely flipping monumental on the next mission. Um, So I think we can probably have a Ford to have a little... Yeah, doing well, doing well. Cleared this place out, which is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it did well there. Very nice too. Very nice too. Uh, we're back to the beach. We've got those keys. We're now back to the beach. He is... Hungry, they're all hungry. I told you we'd end up eating all that stuff. I told you. Um, we've got none of that rotten stuff left now at all. It's all gone. We used it either for putting down. <sighs> so it all went. It all went. Um, okay. There's a lock in here, isn't there? And what happens is, down the end here, we've got a gate. So down here, this gate is locked at the moment. This gate is locked at the moment, but if you put one of these ornate keys in, this thing unlocks. Um, so you've got another gate here, but this is not quite so easy. You, this thing you need to put in um, a rapier sword. And then you go down there, and then you need another rapier sword when you get down there. So you need two rapier swords for that. It looks like you only need one, but in fact, when you go down there, what's waiting for you is another one of those statues. So you need two, you need two. And it's the same thing here too. You go in here into this little secret code thing and you put one of these keys in and you think ah I'm in but although that gate opens when you go in there what's waiting for you is another ornate lock so in fact you do need two you do you need two yeah so you go down here to dodge got to dodge these things I think go through and of course you get go through along here um, what's this score? oh you need a gold key here look you need a gold key here this is a fake wall uh, if you look on the map you can see it's fake because you can see it goes straight through um, now you need a mine key to go through to that bit because that goes to the mine um, fantastic, we've got some food. Everybody's going to be happy with that. Because they're all hard, they're all hungry, all of them. Definitely all hungry. So there's a bit of a pantry along here. Um, does anyone need footwear? I suppose shoes are better than sandals. Oh, alright then, yeah. Oh, these are these trumps, are definitely. Uh, oh, nice. Lovely. Um, wait a minute, what's going on with the trousers? Oh yeah, I'll tell you what, they're better than those. 
They're all looking amazing. They are all looking quite amazing. Oh yeah, that's way better than that. Um, we're actually... Have we got another torch? You've got to keep these torches. Because there's a section you come to where you need four torches. So don't throw the old ones away. Because they're like keys in the end. Um, go up the top here. What happens in? There's a broken wall there. And that's a real clue. Yeah, bullets. Uh, decent shield there. Now wait a minute, he's got that on the front row so the sorcerer can carry this. Um, oh, I don't know about that. Oh, it's a key. We've got a, we've got a key. We've got, um, it's quite valuable to have that. So you pop along here. Oh, we, this is where we, we came from. Remember? This is the same level as before. So if you wanted to, you could jump down. Uh, you could do. Um, Oh, ethereal weapon. That's the first ethereal blade that we've got. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I'll tell you what, I have that. That's our serpent bracer. Very nice. More bullets. Um, so you've got a serpent bracer there. Um, protection plus two. Resist poison plus 50. Well, that, that's quite, that's quite, that's quite brilliant. Yeah, I like that. That's good. So what happens now? Um, Well, we haven't got the uh, the mine key, but we can quite easily get it. So we have to dodge these creatures. Oh crikey, that one's gone there. Uh, basically, all we can do now is exit. Cool, the sorcerer nearly copped it then. Um, the sorcerer nearly copped it then. So we basically have to get back to that place with the teleporters and this trapdoor here there's a trapdoor in there this trapdoor here basically goes down to where the teleporters are and you can open the trapdoor just by pulling the lever which has two positions this lever pulls down to open that trapdoor and it goes back up again to reset all the teleporters if you want to reset all the teleporters to turn them all back on again that lever will do that but it only does it once you really just you can save that for an occasion when you really need it uh, and that will work if for some reason now we're back down to here we've still got those two teleporters going both very difficult, um, but I think we're prepared. This is probably the next one. Um, we're doing absolutely brilliantly. We are going to go back onto the uh, the next mission. Fantastic! We are really well prepared now.